Beep, 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 beep. Welcome back to the court of the E Digester. <clears throat> when you're older, these things last. Sniffles, coughs, the usual, right? Become a warrior. Come on, do the doobris. Come and join us. 2024 is the year where it's at. So, subscribe, like, usual. Let's go. Labour. Let's talk about labour. All you lovely lefties out there, right, are going to have a mountain of justification coming your way. OK, because there's months and months and months to go to the um, general election. But the starting pistol has well and truly begun. I mean, bang, we're off. Starting to see things happening, particularly in PMQs. Rishi Sunak, you know, going up against um, uh, Luke Warm, queer, queer Starmer, Queer Harmer, whatever his name is, right? Uh, and what we're now seeing beginning to appear in the press in various places as they begin the rounds of hand shaking and, and, and you know, face stroking, whatever his politicians do. I don't envy them this this round. I honestly don't, because I think they're in a terrible bind in some ways. But we have to be very realistic about the situation as people who are GC and people who are intent upon trying to get rid of, eradicate these terrible critical social justice ideas from our society, is that we are still a very, very small group and most people don't even know about it. I was reminded about that the other day when I was doing an interview with a, interview with a chap from a local rag. No, it's not a local rag. It's actually very good. Should be out next week sometime. Whether you're doing a hit piece or not, I don't know. We'll see. But it's he was a he's a nice guy, and uh, yeah, be interesting to see what happens. This was after I did a speech at one of these meetups that we do, which is great. Uh, one of the free speech meetups organised by my friend Rob. So, what's going to happen? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? In understanding that so few people know about this. So few people know about it, that every single one, every single one of us that is involved in this only has two choices. You vote Labour and you know what you're going to get. You know, you've only got to look at Canada, right? You've only got to look at Canada. You've only got to look at parts of Australia. You've only got to look to see what you're going to get, right? Or you vote Tory and you don't get it. A vote for the Women's Party isn't going to do it. A vote for any other party that's flitting around on the sidelines isn't going to do it. So you've got a terrible choice to come. I've made mine. I'm going to vote Tory. Sod it. Right. Let's get these people on the ropes. And my uh, decision to do that has not changed. And certainly not been altered after I read the article from Diva about Keir Starmer. Don't get mad at me. Get your ideological blinders off. Children. Remember? Keir Starmer pledges to ban conversion therapy under Labour government, published on the 29th of January from Diva magazine by uh, Ella Grouchy. All right? Sorry, Gouchy. Oh, it's got to be a bloke, haven't it? <coughs> Please let it be a bloke. We can call him Fella Grouchy. <laughs> right. Ella Grouchy. Thank you for this article, Ella. It's given me fodder for your nonsense. Keir Starmer promised that a Labour government would bring about major improvements... To look up at the queue. They've added an A. So we've got another letter now. <coughs> Writes at home and abroad in his speech at the LGBT plus Labour event in Parliament this evening, 29th of January. From modernising the Gender Recognition Act to banning so-called conversion therapy, the leader of the party drew the party's long history with LGBTQIA rights to solidify his commitment to change. So he's, a, he's actually stated he's going to do everything that all of us, from the left and from the right, have been fighting against. He's going to do it all. So it's a position. He's declared his position. Now, uh, women, women's labour, you know, all you labour lovers out there, Right? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because we're now talking about a vote of least harm. And there's nothing more harmful to children than this. What are you going to do? Come on, speak up. Tell us. I, it's so awful. Oh, so they drew on their long party's history. Without, let's, let's go through the history. The Labour history of LGBT rights, shall we? Labour governments and the LGBT plus movement have a history of achieving incredible things together. Do we? Starmer told attendees of the event, which included the likes of Angela Rayner. Oh, Annalise Dodd. Right. <coughs> mm. Looks like an Arman character, doesn't she? Bless her. You're right there, Annalise? Annalise Doddery. Yeah. Annalise Doddery. 
and Linda Riley are also in attendance alongside MPs Dawn Butler. It's like a Rose Gallery and Kate Osborne. Oh my God, right? Look what we did. We decriminalised homosexuality. Uh, no, you didn't. Right? No, you didn't. Okay? What you did was, you, not you personally, but the Labour Party, some of them, took part in a joint effort between the different parties, led generally by a man called Leo Abs, backed up by Churchill's um, need to reform the treatment of gay men and other parties. But interestingly enough, the leader of the Labour Party, Harold Wilson, voted against it and Margaret Thatcher voted for it. You're lying. Right? You didn't do anything. The entire thing was brought about by the Conservative Party with the Wolfenden Report <clears throat> brought in in 1957. The rest of it was picked up by gay men and, and by the lesbians that supported them as they formed the Campaign for Homosexual Equality, moved on from that and eventually got the equality we needed, which wasn't equality at all because you had to be 21 to bang somebody and do it in a house that was unoccupied. Otherwise, they'd still go for you. Right? You didn't do a thing. God, it's just a blatant lie. <clears throat> so we repealed Section 28. Yet yeah, Section 28 that was in, that was actually in place because of your party, right? And its flirtation with the paedophile information exchange and its insistence on putting nonsense into schools to teach children. That's what it was seen like then. That's what the culture was then. That's what people would put up with. Really mis and again the Labour progressives misunderstanding the public mood. He's lying through his teeth, right? And the Civil Partnership Act, yeah, the Tories gave us gay marriage. You really are lying about all this, as if you've done something. A whole raft of groundbreaking legislation that moved the dial towards the equal rights LGBT people deserve. It was nothing to do with the tea. Nothing. <clears throat> we protected people from discrimination and changed people's lives. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. The very act that Tony Blair brought in, the Equality Act, has been a disaster. For gay men. And for women. The Gender Recognition Act with Labour brought in has certainly been a disaster for gay people, same-sex same -sex attractive people and women. You're lying! The leader of the Labour Party also lamented the actions of the Conservative Party, claiming that they've stoked culture wars and pitted people against each other. Absolutely unbelievable! Un I mean, absolute bare-faced lies. No, 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 no. You lefty and liberal loveys, right? Because you're all in the same basket now, because you're, you're all a bunch of basket cases. That we're in the university, have brought divisive ideas in our society that has torn people asunder. And they've done it by stealth. So that people have only begun waking up in the last two years, even politicians. Oh, this is the leader of the Labour Party. And then they rattle on about hate crime statistics, which have gone up because of you. Which have gone up because of the progressive left liberals. Which have gone up because you've asked people to believe that men can be women. And because you've said it's okay to medicalise, sterilise and operate on children and young people. Right? Starmer, the liar. Alright? Gay people believe that Labour did things. They did nothing. It took individual members of the Labour Party to bring them round. They were still stopping this from go, stop, stopping homosexual equality in 1967. They still didn't want it. I mean, in Scotland, it was in the 80s. And Scotland is more left than Britain. Lies, see? So they, are, they lie. Starmer told the attendees at the event that a Labour government would be committed to changing this worrying reality. What worrying reality? Up until you, you lot started with the trans nonsense, we were all living in a golden age. He pledged that Labour would fight to make sure that the look of its cube, A, people can live in a society where they aren't safe but celebrated. So he's going to elevate <clears throat> this El look of its Q nut job cult. He's going to elevate this cult where people where they are celebrated. What, like, you know, VE Day? 
celebrated like what? Granny's birthday? What? Is, how big is it going to be this celebration? Will we believe? Will we be building? You know, something to celebrate them? What? I don't know. What we're going to have a second Millennium Doom? What? What? Ah, uh, hey, what? Come on, <laughs> Starmer. We must know. Is it? How are you going to celebrate us? If you think that we're a part of this, we're not. You're celebrating an insane cult. Right? You're celebrating a flesh sacrificing cult. You are celebrating a cult that encourages people, children, children to not believe their parents, to be separate from their parents, to say goodbye to their family. You are actually elevating a cult. That's what you are doing, Keir Starmer. And for every GC person that votes Labour, you're helping him. Good luck. Because I don't want that decision. I've made mine. I'm going to vote Tory. But what the women who are embedded in the Labour Party are going to do? Because you haven't changed a thing. It's sad. It's sad. But you haven't changed a thing. And that reality we must accept. There he is. Stood repeating all the mantras we've been fighting for the last three or four years. It's made not one jot of a difference to the Labour Party. Not one jot of a difference. And if and in nine months' time, or however long it takes, when the Tory get, Tories get kicked out, they can't win. I can't see it, right? And they get kicked out, and he comes in, which he will, right? Which he will. You have no idea how bad it can get, or you have every idea how bad it can get. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's an awful choice. But if you don't do something, I don't know how you're going to live with yourself. Because what we're doing obviously isn't working. What we've been doing internally, what we've been doing as supporters of the Labour Party, obviously isn't working. See, Wes Streeting, isn't he Labour as well? He was on television the other night, wibbling, with his non-apology. You've got to read the text, folks. You've got to understand what they're saying. Nothing has changed. What we are doing is not working. It's time to abandon the Labour Party and appeal to the common man and woman to vote for the Tories. And I know that sticks in your crawl. But what we are doing is not working in relation to the Labour Party. It's a hard one, isn't it? Don't think I'm happy about it because I'm not. Right? It's a hard one. But now you can't say you weren't warned. I'll see you later. Bye-see-bye.